Hey, and welcome back to the second episode of Experience Share. The uh, name was given to us by Skywolf and Dist, so thank you guys very much for all your help there. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, again, we are going to be discussing Tay's uh, interactions and experiences with Ocarina of Time. It's his first time playing Ocarina of Time. Indeed. And uh, you, last we left off, you went to the, you, you had just beaten the Great Deku Tree, right? The first dungeon of the game and gotten the spiritual oh, yeah. stone of the forest. I beat the boss of the Deku Tree. I didn't beat the Deku Tree. Well, <laughs> all right. Fair, fair. That wasn't me killing him, much as Mido might think, or Mido. Uh, Mido, Mido, yeah. Mido, I can confuse <laughs> Mido multi-tool. Well, he might have thought you killed him. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right, good start. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, tell us uh, what you did from there. Take it away. Uh, well, first I got a nice bowl of popcorn to uh, to enjoy because it just feels right. Mm, Something about nice. snacking while playing uh, an older console. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Kind of brings out the uh, the childhood feel of it. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's nice. Yeah, maybe that's a ritual I should start doing too, or something like that. Mm. Well, I uh, I started out trying to go back into the Deku Tree to see if anything had changed. Oh, oh, out of interesting. Curiosity. Yeah. Had anything I, changed? I didn't, I didn't go any uh, go down the. Uh, actual dungeon part i suppose i just mm. snooped around the upper parts yeah but uh, it appeared normal yeah i didn't notice anything too out of the ordinary mm. i see i see so um uh, nothing too out too out of the ordinary um it's interesting that you tried going back in um i don't know if i would I guess I guess my curiosity for exploring and stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's so long since that happened. Maybe that's what I did when I was a kid. I don't remember. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we you also took a lot of notes in a Google Docs. So it says here that the textures looked like diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> they did. What do you mean by that? The, the colors looked like diarrhea. The colors looked like diarrhea. Okay. Uh, is that because it's been so long since you played it that you had kind of forgotten what it looked like? And last time when I showed you, it was on the GameCube, which is a bit clearer. So is it a the Nintendo 64 looking like diarrhea? It might have been. I'm not really sure. Just that's something I took note of. That it looked like diarrhea. <laughs> well, uh, the N64 is a console with a very muddied uh, image <laughs> quality. That's one way to put it. Yeah, like even even when you have like N64 games in uh, with an HD output and making everything look super clean, the diarrhea. No, the, the diarrhea. <laughs> the textures. <laughs> Still look a little <laughs> iffy, <laughs> but, though I think we can call it the diarrhea. That works too. All right, the dookie. <laughs> Things look like diarrhea in the dookie tree. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. Uh, next, I moved out of uh, or moved into the Hyrule field. Yeah, Hyrule oh. field. Oh yeah. What did you? And, yeah. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, well, on. first I I paused and got up to get a drink, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got ambushed by skeletons. Oh no! But didn't and something unpaused. happen before you went into Hy Hyrule Field? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Saria stopped me on the way and said, "We'll be best friends forever." Yeah. Maybe. A very wholesome scene, and then gave me a fairy ocarina. Yeah. I always feel bad leaving her, especially since Link just fucking 
stands there looking at her for a second, <laughs> then backs off for a little bit, and then just fucking yeets out of there. Yeah. That's, He's uh, not very charismatic, is he? Uh, no. Uh, you could say that he has the personality of a wet paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> I do make note of that later. Oh, you do? That's yes. All right, interesting. Um, so, yeah, you met Saria. Do you like her? Um, I, yeah, she's nice. Yeah. I mean, he, he doesn't exactly look the greatest, but no one does. So <laughs> no, no one does. <laughs> uh, I can tell you she's one of those that look the best uh, on the N64. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think I mentioned this last time, but I think she looks uh, hella cute. Um think mm. i might have like gravitated towards that like even as a child i was like oh, she's cute oh my gosh so uh yeah i don't know something about the the big ass smile she puts on every <laughs> time she sees you well except in that scene that was that was not a big smile <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of sad but yeah okay no it's it's nice to know that you think she's nice I uh, I definitely like her. I have a sweet spot for her. Mm. Yeah, I, I next moved on to the uh, Hyrule Field. Mm -hmm. Where I got ambushed by some very nice skeletons and managed to pause the game with, I think, half a heart left. Oh, boy. I, uh, I saw the attacks happening while I was making chocolate milk and rushed over and tried to mash the start button that I couldn't actually find. <laughs> it's a big red but Oh, wait, you're colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's red? <laughs> no, but yeah. Okay. It, it was dark in the room. And I, didn't, I don't have like an instinctual knowledge of where it is. No, the N64 controller is a little bit... Um, Foreign. <laughs> yeah. Like you could say that if you're being nice. Yeah. Let, let's put it that way. So uh, <laughs> you managed to pause it. Did you manage to beat them? Yeah. I, I unpaused it and ran away once I was sitting back down and turned around and spammed the sword button at them. Ah, I see. Did they... Uh... Did they lose their heads or something? Uh, yeah. I did notice that the skeletons lost their heads a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... They're kind of cool. The the little skeletons. Uh, they... I think they sound funny. They're kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, when you do a horizontal strike, you cut off their heads. And then they don't really know where you are, so they just walk around sort of aimlessly. It's kind of charming. They were, they were neat at first, uh, but there were so many of them. Yeah, they spawn until morning. Yeah, it it got. I don't want to say on my nerves, but it got tiring fighting them. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah. I I eventually just started running away. Hmm. I don't want to be out there during the nighttime. Hmm. Anyhow, an, uh, an owl will stop me. <laughs> Do you know the owl's name? Did he introduce himself to you? I didn't make note of his name. His name is, I think, Gabora Kipora. I, I do remember it's, it's starting with a G. Oh, so he does introduce, yourself, uh, introduce himself to you. He might have. Huh. Or you might have mentioned his name before or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's kind of a recurring character in the Zelda series. Hmm. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, he seemed very knowledgeable about the situation. Oh, man. What did Which he say? Me, uh, telling me I would face a lot of hardships. Stuff like that. And I should, uh, I think he said I should just keep going or something. Hmm, I see. Uh... I I can't really remember 
any of his dialogue because I do my very best to skip it every single fucking time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> really? Yeah, every time. Uh, because it gives you like vague hints of what it is you need to do. But uh, remember, I played this when I was so young. I didn't really understand English. He uses a lot of big words for me. <laughs> or, well, he understandable. U- yeah. Um. So because of that, uh, I I would just mash through his dialogue and get to the yes or no thing at the end and just have to guess which one uh, would proceed. And <laughs> god damn it, if I chose wrong, <laughs> if I, I chose wrong, when I hmm? yeah, if I chose wrong, I had to go back and and listen to his bullshit again. So right. So yeah, because of that, I always skip him uh because on repeat playthroughs i already know where to go and what to do so right that reminds me when i was a kid playing a tithe tasmanian tiger the options menu would have enabled or disabled (laughs) and i did not know what those meant as a kid Mm. so i had to guess as to what was on and off as well right yeah 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 gotcha gotcha (laughs) cool all right, so uh, uh, weird owl that um, turns his head up and down all over the place. Very uh, spooky. He, yeah. Uh, what happened next? Uh, I believe he mentioned there was a princess in the castle as well. Oh, wow. A princess in a castle. Never heard that one before. Yeah, especially in a Nintendo game. No, Nintendo doesn't do that often. <laughs> I even wrote in my notes that I hope she's actually there and doesn't pull some Mario shit. <laughs> I'll just arrive to see Toad. Ah, she's in another castle. That's... I I absolutely love that you're saying that they. Uh, you hope they didn't pull a Mario shit. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to that when we get oh. to the castle part. Right, okay. <laughs> Have I so, touched on something important? Uh, you actually might have, yeah. In, in, interesting. Well, not important. It's uh, more of a... You'll see no when movie. we get there. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah. The, you finished talking to the bitch-ass owl? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if i go so far as to say bitch, but... um, You will in due time. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I'll take your word for it. (laughs) So I guess there's two characters to hate in this game now? (laughs) Well, okay. Uh, To be fair, I do not hate the owl. Why, you just call him a bitch? Well, I call you a bitch whenever we talk. (laughs) That's fair. (laughs) At this point, it's a term of endearment. (laughs) (laughs) Go on. I started running around and I noticed a uh, a peculiar looking thing a that peculiar reminded me thing. of the it reminded me of the great fairy fountains in Breath of the Wild I think they were called oh yeah 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 then I, I went up to it and started whacking at it to see what would happen right uh yeah you probably met a pea hat didn't you Looks like a giant pineapple or or like the great fairy fountains, you said. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. I, yeah. Yeah. All right. I remember uh, uh, letting Fox Burrito, my wife, try to <laughs> try to play Zelda Ocarina of Time, and I think she got stuck on the, on the pea hat as well. Right. So, so she fought that thing and freaked the fuck out when it started <laughs> flying. Yeah. It, uh, it started... Being a helicopter and flying, yeah, and yeah. sort of attacking me, and my sword didn't not it didn't work against it. Oh, did he figure out how to beat it? Uh, I did later. You did later. Yeah. All right. This time I just ran away because I was low on health. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. And I I ran up a a nearby hill. Mm. to try to get away from it. I meant to take a picture of it, but I, I forgot to. 
<laughs> Take a picture of it with what? Your phone? Yeah. Just of the scene. Oh. Because it was a scene that reminded me of something very important. Okay. Or very noteworthy. Okay. And it was my first wow moment in gaming. Okay. Go on. I, I don't know how else to put it, but yeah. Uh, it was in Oblivion. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, walking around the field, or the area around Oblivion. Cyrodiil, I think it's called. Cyrodiil is the uh, region in Oblivion, yes. Uh, just strolling down the paths after making it out of the sewers. Oh, yeah. And I remember as a kid looking up and seeing the white gold tower in the distance. Oh. And a, a wave of awe kind of washed over me. Oh, cool. It was really, really cool knowing like, wow, this world is huge and expansive and I can go anywhere. And you're saying that this little weird ass Nintendo 64 game with diarrhea textures made you feel <laughs> the same or at least remind you of that? Yeah, when I walked up on the hill and saw uh, the castle in the distance and an expansive field uh, before me, mm. it, it didn't give me the same feeling because that was, you know, childhood wonder, I guess. Yeah, childhood wonder yeah. and recreating something like that, uh, that's a tough fact to follow, especially yeah. when you're old and wizened and fucking oh god i'm old narcissist uh, not not narcissistic fuck uh nihilistic <laughs> is nihilistic yeah. no cynical i guess is more cynical, the yeah. yeah more the the idea i'm thinking of here <laughs> but yeah i i was looking at that and it made me think like if i were new to gaming like if i were a kid again and this was my one of my first games that would have been the wow moment for me. <laughs> How interesting. Wow. Huh. I... It had me a little bit curious as to what your wow moment was and if it was in a Zelda game, I suppose. What was my first wow moment in a game? Huh. I can tell you, I have had many. Um. Uh, mm. I've definitely had many. Uh, Ocarina of Time gave me a lot of wow, wow moments for sure, but not like not like goosebumps wow moments. I think I think one of the first games, at least in the Zelda series, that really gave me that wow moment. That would probably have to be uh, the moon. In Majora's Mask. Mm. That was scary. That was some scary shit. And I remember... <laughs> I remember realizing that this whole thing fell to me. Uh, right around the time where the uh, Happy Mask Salesman strangles you. You don't know this yet. Uh, we're going to go through Majora's Mask at some point too, I believe. Yep. Uh but that is definitely something to look forward to. <laughs> right. But that's that's I'm interesting. Curious. I'm I'm going to have to think more about what were my wow moments. It's an interesting question because it's at least for me the oblivion moment really really stands out to me. Yeah, and I suppose it helps define who you are as a gamer. Yeah, yeah. It it certainly keeps oblivion in one of my top spots despite me knowing it's not a perfect game in any aspect <laughs> uh, oh, imagine and the soundtrack that was playing Oriel's Ascension is to this day still one of my favorite soundtracks in any game yeah yeah I can definitely see that uh, it's so pretty <laughs> wow what an interesting uh, question I, I guess uh I guess this is a good question to ask uh, whoever the fuck is listening to this. Uh, if you guys have any wow moments you'd like to share, I would love to hear them. That'd be super interesting. Hmm. I think personally a wow moment for me was in Breath of the Wild when I first got off the, uh, the Great Plateau 
and I saw what the lighting engine could do with the blades of grass in Hyrule Field. Right. The that combined with just a beautiful sunset. I remember I immediately took a screenshot on my Switch. I now, mean, yeah, I was surprised your wow moment was so recent. Uh, because I personally haven't had many at all in uh, adulthood. I suppose. Mm. I think. Um, oops. I think I hit the mic there. I think um, these wow moments are fewer and further apart. I believe I mentioned that in the uh, Subnautica video. But when they yeah, do yeah, happen, right. I, I, do, I do cherish them. Mm. <sighs> I, I certainly... There's a reason I, I made note of this moment. It's because it was so rare. Mm. Dude, that's that's super interesting. I I suppose we went off on a little tangent here, but that is yeah, super a interesting. Tangent. <laughs> well, I guess not. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we're talking about Oblivion and and Majora's Mask and Breath of the Wild and an Ocarina of Time video. Yeah, but it it was a moment spurred on by Ocarina yeah, of Time. Yeah, it was. It was. But okay, yeah. Uh, that. That that is interesting. I, I I like that. I like that you have that a game like this can still inspire some sort of wow moment. Especially mm. since it's so old. <laughs> like it, yeah. you you tend to think that games like these um sort of like lose their luster after a while. That's also why I'm incredibly interested in hearing whatever it is you have to say about all these things, because you have no nostalgia for this. No. Which means that, like, there are so many videos. Ocarina of Time is one of those games that have been uh, praised to hell and back uh, with how amazing it is and how how influential it is and this and that. And, oh, my God, it's the greatest game of all time. It's, if I'm not mistaken, it's... It usually always tops most greatest game of all time lists. Mm. And as a result of that, a lot of people are kind of discrediting uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, like focusing more on its flaws, which is fair. The game has flaws. It's not perfect by, by any means. But the fact that you still got that wow moment actually speaks... A little bit to how timeless it and timeless it is, despite the title, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. so that's that's super interesting, huh? And I would also like to make note that I don't have any nostalgia for the N sixty four either. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, my childhood console was the GameCube. Yeah, and I've kind of always held the opinion that the GameCube is the point for me at which it graphics aren't an issue anymore like it's it's good enough that i don't notice them yeah so it's interesting going back to the n64 and that's part of the reason i wanted to play it on the n64 as well is to kind of test that i suppose mm -hmm. that's that's a good point that's a very good point i can appreciate that all right so after your wow moment what happened uh, I started running around and exploring and eventually made my way to Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, yeah. Where I, I met uh, Ingo, <laughs> who seemed a little bit salty. Why? Uh, apparently the owner, I believe, Talon, hasn't come back from a delivery. Matt, I'm surprised you remember uh, the names so well. I guess uh, you take note of them <laughs> for the series. I, I wrote them in the Google Doc because I know I wouldn't remember them otherwise. <laughs> There's a specific reason I have them written down. Right, right, right. Otherwise, I'd be sitting here like, who was that again? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, Most that's, likely, I should say. Yeah, that's that's smart. So, uh, Ingo and Talon. Uh, those two are interesting because uh, color-wise and body shape-wise and all that... Uh, they are very Mario and Luigi. 
Really? I didn't yeah. take note of that. Because you, me- you meet uh, Talon later. And if you yep. did go to the castle, you know that. But Ingo is tall and kind of greenish, has white overalls, just like Luigi did in Mario 1. Whereas Talon is a bit shorter, a bit, sh- bit fatter, and uh, w- uh, wears red and blue overalls. Has, mm. a, uh, has a big nose, a uh, big, like, donut, no, a uh, bun-looking nose, and a mustache, and so does Ingo. Right. So they do have kind of this Mario Luigi thing going. I uh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's it's just a fun fact though. Uh, hmm. I'm I'm not uh, going to say that they are like meant to be like Mario and Luigi, but it's it's cool looking at them like that. Wait, wait, wait! Is this turning into Mario? <laughs> let's just. Is uh, this where the princess is going to be in another castle? Let's just keep going. <laughs> right. No, uh, there were. Uh, there was another house with a lot of chickens. Mm. Uh, I spent a long time messing with those. Uh, messing with those? What do you mean? Uh, mostly trying to get them up the uh, the staircase and <laughs> flying down to see if there's anywhere to get to. Right, right. I find it interesting that just... you already realized that you could fly with them. Wow, that was quick. Uh, it. Yeah, I don't know. It it kind of seemed not obvious, but it was quick to come to my mind. I suppose. Hmm. I see. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if there are any places like that in Breath of the Wild where you have to use chickens to fly. I don't think so because you have the glider. Yeah, you do, right? But Which it seems much functions as one. It seems so far-fetched, though, to pick up a fucking flightless bird like a chicken and use that to <laughs> fly with. I mean, I know they're not totally flightless. They can fly a little bit. <laughs> I yeah. know, because one jumped on my head when I was a kid and attacked me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but still, one chicken carrying the weight of a child. Uh, it. it Thinking in Zelda logic, I suppose it seemed seemed like something to try. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. And I find that to be uh, quite interesting when it comes to, uh, honestly, a lot of, lot of things. Uh, games are like this language, you know, that you kind of have to learn. And after a while, you'll sort of know what's interactable and so on, just by intuition because you kind of know that that language it's kind of like if you see someone who has never ever watched a, an old 50s cartoon or something like that uh and they would have no idea that that rock is going to fall but if you grew up with that sort of stuff you can tell immediately that oh yeah no that rock is not part of the background it's going to fall or something's going to happen to that rock you know right like old old animation techniques stuff like that it's it's like a, a language that you have to learn to interpret yep and, and i think so are games like you you get used to that logic and anyway. i i know we touched on that in the first episode as well yeah i think we might have uh, with the uh, the heart being off the edge the heart being off the edge in the deku tree above the uh, oh bar. yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and how that's that right. kind of misled me a little bit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, that's a topic I find to be very interesting. The the whole uh, games as a language thing. Maybe that's something yeah, I can make an, inf- uh, uh, an episode on. <laughs> Were you going to say influence? No. All right. That would be an interesting episode. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Especially with, uh, like, lighting directing things as well yeah and how how games like uh traversal games like uncharted or tomb raider usually colors the le- their ledges in certain ways right in order to uh, lead the player huh 
We so shouldn't get too off topic. No, maybe. we shouldn't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, whenever uh, whenever you notice there's uh, there's a lull in the conversation or so, just just keep going. You're the one who yep. you're the one who has played this, so you just I, I'm always tempted to, tempted to keep going with the uh, tangents. Yeah, because it's very easy to. Yeah, and it's interesting too. But yeah, let's stay on track. Well, I, I I left the house and started exploring the giant corral mm. and got dived bombed by some birds. By birds? Oh, were you there at night? Uh, I believe so. Oh, uh, yeah, because I don't think those birds come out uh, during the day. Do they? Do they not? I don't think so. I think they are, they are nocturnal birds. I recall seeing their shadow, and that's how I knew they were dive bombing. Uh, I might be wrong. I mean, uh, this is probably something I'll find out when I play it for the footage. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I I didn't take note of the time of day, but I do remember using their shadows to judge where they were. And now I uh, ran around and found the, uh, the tower. In the back? Yeah. The one with the, uh, I believe there's a cow and a couple of blocks inside. Yep. I, I did the uh, the little block puzzle mm. and found the uh, the secret hole with the piece of heart inside. Nice. How'd that feel? <laughs> piece of hearts? Have you... You've not played a Zelda game with pieces of heart before, have you? Uh, They were in Wind Waker, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot that we played Wind Waker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right. I mean, played in air quotes. Hmm. Like, I experienced it. Fair. It was mostly Kefa playing it. Yeah. Well, I still was there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but... Okay. So, the concept of pieces of heart weren't completely foreign on you? No. And it, it's a pretty obvious thing, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. It makes sense. Lots of games have used that concept afterwards yeah. i mean zelda is a very uh influential series mm. so yeah an ocarina of time is a very influential um zelda game right but yeah uh, i'm tempted to go off on a tangent again no let's let's try to keep, <laughs> let's try to keep it on track <laughs> Uh, anyhow, I, uh, I I left the tower and started getting nagged by Navi Ooh. to but actually do the quest I was given. Nagged? Didn't she? Yeah. Did she actually nag? Wasn't it just a, hey, uh, we should totally do this? It was worded in a way that I felt was a little bit naggy. Like, you know, the Deku tree said we should get to the castle we should do that or something i don't remember how it was worded but it it felt, <clears throat> felt naggy all right <laughs> naggy navi <laughs> i have it written in my notes that navi should be renamed to naggy <laughs> <laughs> i see uh i navi is one of these characters that the internet hates because she's so annoying but i never really yeah, I never really felt that. I I don't feel like she is that annoying. But then I again, didn't actually, hmm? no, go on. I didn't actually think she was annoying. Just I was there throwing chickens and whatnot, and I wanted to keep doing that. Oh, and she was like, "Hey, we should totally do this." In a minute, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you got to remember is that this is very early 3D game they didn't want you to get lost or forget what it was you were doing so to be fair i'm definitely prone to that <laughs> yeah unless this becomes like uh an elder scrolls playthrough where it's like main quest oh yeah, yeah fuck that thing i forgot you have to get to the graybeards are they <laughs> so uh <laughs> yeah absolutely uh navi is She's there to to tell you the game. The game doesn't know if you are 
just exploring but still remember what you do. So Navi will usually chime in and just give you a, hey, this is what you need to do in case you forgot. But I suppose mm. the, wor- the way she's worded can sometimes make her annoying. Um, you've not played Skyward Sword yet, but if we are talking about annoying characters that follow you around... <sighs> oh boy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Resist the temptation. Yeah. 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 Well, anyhow, I decided to totally disregard Navi and continued exploring. Mm-hmm. And uh, got stopped, uh, I think it was west of Lon Lon, Lon Lon Ranch. West By the of, owl again. West of Lon Lon Ranch. Uh, that Between was... where you enter the area and Lon Lon Ranch. Is that west? I think, I think by the... Uh, oh, no, that would be east. Yeah, that would be east, wouldn't it? It was, to put it another way, around the entrance to the Gerudo area. Right, yeah, that would be west. That's that's what I figured. Is the owl hanging out there? I, I suppose so. I don't remember. Oh, wait, he's by the... Uh, he's on top of the tall tree right before you go into the red area. Red area? Yeah, the Gerudo Valley is much redder than everything else <laughs> around. I know you're going from green to red, <laughs> which is not one of your stronger suits, but yeah, I think he's there. I, I, I guess I'll find out when we do it for he, footage. He was in a tree. Yeah. Hmm. I see, I see. Yeah, I, I headed towards uh, Gerudo Valley. Yeah. And some wise guy said that a kid like me is no business in the fortress. Some wise guy. That's me calling him a name in slight saltiness. Mm. It's interesting that you call him a guy. That's the guy at the end of the bridge, right? Yep. Because uh, he's not a guy. I mean, wise guy is a saying. Yeah, but you you also called him he when um, I gave him stuff like that. It's right. uh, uh, very lore heavy that there are pretty much no male Gerudo. Right, right. I remember that from... Is that part of Breath of the Wild? Yes. Yeah, you had to get the uh, the dress. Yeah. That was Gerudo. Yeah. Right. Those are Gerudo. Gerudo, Gerudo. Uh, we can say uh, Gerudo if you... Jif. <laughs> Who knows? Jif. Ooh. We can start calling them Gerudos. Ooh, but spicy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, very lore heavy that there are no male Gerudo. Uh, I, I had forgotten about that detail. Yeah, no, that's uh, what makes it interesting is that uh, every 100 years, one male Gerudo is born. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> uh, this male Gerudo becomes the king of thieves or the king of the Gerudo. Right. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. And he's someone who is, I guess I would say, fairly important to the uh, Zelda universe. Uh, really? No yeah, idea. A little bit. Couldn't uh, have guessed. Hmm. Well, I, I'm sure you'll hear about him later. <laughs> um, maybe. I don't know. No. You think he'll make an appearance? Uh yeah, yeah, he usually makes at least a cameo every here, uh, every now and then. He, he's kind of an Easter hmm. egg in the Zelda universe. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> every game is like, hey, see if you can spot him. <laughs> it's, like <laughs> yeah, it's like a werewolf. Yeah, it's like a where's wall. <laughs> uh, uh, where's Gerudo? <laughs> where's the king of thieves? <laughs> uh so yeah obviously we're talking about uh ganon yep or ganondorf as his human counterpart is his name ganondork <laughs> do you know what ganondorf's full name is 
Ganondorfina? No. <laughs> his his last name, uh, uh, according to uh, the, I believe it's Legend of Zelda Link to the Past's uh, manual. Uh, I believe Ganon's name, or Ganon's last name is Dagmire. Really? Yeah, Dagmire or Dragmire. I think it's Dagmire. <coughs> I seem what to a, a strange name. It's very weird. Uh, I seem to remember that maybe I got that from Hyrule Historia or something. Maybe I'm just pulling this right out of my ass. <laughs> but uh, my wife uh, just Googled it and is pointing to the screen. I can't see the screen from here. It's oh. the wiki and it says Ganondorf Dagmire. No, uh, Dragmire. Oh. <laughs> interesting so cool so his name is ganondorf dragmire <laughs> interesting gd <laughs> gd strong initials yeah game's done <laughs> <laughs> okay tangent again fuck <laughs> <laughs> whoops it's it's so easy to just fucking grok out of when it comes to all of these things. I'm I'm so I'm so passionate about it. I can't I can't help myself. Mm. Anyway, it's just fun to talk about games. It, so yeah, it is. It is. Anyway, please continue. Um, <laughs> right. Where were we? Uh, uh you uh, the sculptula. Sculptula. I think it was a golden sculptula. Uh, that was on a fallen log bridge before the. Uh, oh yeah. The gal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had shot at that with um, the uh, the slingshot. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think it dropped whatever gold sculptures drop. Yeah, the gold sculpture token. Yeah. I'm not sure how I was supposed to get to that, but. I think I was supposed to use the chicken to glide to it. Mm. Was I? I think it's a little bit too high up for that, so... I'm... I'm not sure. I don't think you can. Hmm. That might be well, something that was I my can idea. test. Yeah, that, that might right. be something I can test. That was my idea anyway, but unfortunately I had uh, thrown the chicken at the gal guarding the gate. Mm-hmm. In my frustration with her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it landed behind the gate, so I had no way to try that. Oh. Okay. I see. You could just leave the Sorry, air and I, go back in again to, to have it come back. I, I didn't. I, I kind of guessed that, but I didn't try it. Yeah. Gotcha. And yeah, if you see written in my notes, I wrote, the N64 controller was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking and three pronged trident. <laughs> that was because I was trying to get to that, uh, that golden sculptula and huh, it was difficult. <laughs> Controls did not, uh, did not help out. No, <laughs> they, uh, they were a little bit of a, uh, a roadblock, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Anyhow, I uh, I left the area since it appeared there wasn't much left to do there. Though I did notice down in the uh, the valley, I suppose, that there were some ledges I probably could have gotten to as well if I still had the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there are. There are. So, Gerudo Valley... Uh one of the things that is most striking about that for me is, without a doubt, the music. The music mm. in that area is one of my favorite pieces I, of game music of all time, I think. It's it's so catchy. It's like, it's it's incredible, honestly. I, I love that music piece. Do you Did you take note of that at all? I meant to take note of it in my notes, but I uh, evidently forgot. Mm. Do you but remember it, it the was music? a very nice music. Yeah, yeah, it is very much so. As was the uh, the rest of the music so far. Yeah. All right. So N sixty four controller was a mistake, <laughs> and then you left. That may be a 
a recurring theme throughout my notes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you, uh, when did you get to Hyrule Castle? Uh, later on, after more exploring. Mm, where did you explore? I, I left and went north, I believe. North, yeah. And found another one of the uh, pine heads, pea heads? Pea hats. Pea hats. Yeah. And uh, decided to try to actually attack it since I had some health this time. Mm. And I, I shot it in the dingle with my slingshot a lot. <laughs> Which seemed to work. <laughs> you shot the pea hat in the not hat, but the pea? Pea? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in the dingle. Hey, it worked. Yeah, that works. It seemed, seemed like a weak point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be. Naturally. <laughs> naturally. <laughs> but you beat it? Yeah. Oh, impressive. I think that's where I died uh, for real the first time when I played. Uh, the very right. first P-Hat, the one you uh, ran away from. Gotcha. I think uh, I died there the first time in a Zelda game. Or at least I don't I, think I've died yet. That's uh, that's good. We'll see where that goes from from here. It's not. I'm, I'm not going for the uh, the no death speed run. <laughs> well, no death run. At least I don't know if we can call it a speed run. <laughs> well, it's a speed run for a game I haven't played before. Well, well that's fair. A speed run to explore everything. Yeah, that's fair. One hundred percent no death speed run. <laughs> Do you think you're uh, gonna make the list? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I will. <laughs> All right. Yeah, written again in my notes is the N64 controller was a mistake. <laughs> Why? Because it was difficult to aim at the dingle. Oh, did you aim? Uh, did you aim freehand? Yeah. Oh, uh, you can. Because I'm not. Hmm? I'm not used to using the uh, the trigger. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. As well as it had been a while since I last played it. That's fair. That's fair. So I had kind of forgotten that part of the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Anyhow. Um, oh, yeah. The uh, the mysterious all-knowing owl also told me where Kakarago Village is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, told me uh, where it is as I was trying to walk in there. Right. Yeah. And then stopped me and told me to do the thing I'm supposed to do. Aw. <laughs> so, at that point, I, I think I had explored everything. Yeah. And I, I headed into the castle. Mm -hmm. Which was, um... It was closed until morning. Oh, no. So I had to walk around and avoid the skeletons. Right. But I eventually made it in. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and talk to one of the, uh, or all of the, uh, the guys in the plaza area. Market, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And some guy very conveniently told me a way to get into the actual castle. Okay. Which was... I... I I assumed it would be handy later on. It was. Uh, who was it who told you that? I don't know his name. I, in my notes, just wrote someone. Do you know where he was? He was... Uh, if you're facing towards the exit of the uh, market, he was to the right, I believe. Talking with another guy. Oh. Uh... Blue and red shirt. Mm, probably. And very exaggerated movements. Probably. All right. Yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, but I mean, I guess footage will will tell who it really is. Yep. I, I talked to some of the uh, the other folks and tried to help a lady catch her cuckoo or cuckoo, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Can you catch that? Uh, are you talking about the little girl in the yellow dress with the 
white hoodie uh, hood or something like that running after a, uh, a little chicken? A cuckoo? Yes. I don't think you can do anything with that cuckoo. No. Right. Because I spent a lot of time trying to catch it. Right. <laughs> I wanted to help. Ah. Uh, I see. And, um... Met the daughter of the owner of Lon Lon Ranch, Talon, I believe. Talon is the owner, yes. Yeah, and Milan is her daughter, Malone. Malin. Malin. <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> I was going to say that, but... <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's Talon and Malin. Just, it... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it could be Talone and Malone. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> and she uh, she also mentioned what Ingo mentioned. That the owner was not back yet. Mm. Went to deliver milk. Yep. Mm. I explored the, uh, the back alley and someone mentioned a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. Mm. Which made me think of the, uh, the great fairy fountains from Breath of the Wild. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's accurate, but this will cross my mind. Yeah. That's interesting. And I, I also entered a market, which is where I saw a lady with blue hair. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Yeah. Yeah, you really like blue hair, don't you? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Very vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely get that. And then... Uh, I went to the shooting minigame. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> now I'm I don't interested. know if I want to, it's painful. Oh, was painful it? Painful memories. Interesting. <laughs> because the N64 controller was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm glad I had written that sentence down in my notes before because it kind of all culminated here <laughs> oh no yeah I spent all of my rupees all of them how many did you have yeah uh like around 100 oh my gosh yeah 99 is the first max oh right Some somewhere in the upper yeah at least 70. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I spent a lot there. <laughs> and failed a lot, but I, I eventually I freaking did it. Which one gave you the most trouble? Um, The one in the center that pops up. Oh yeah, the green one that pops up and then falls back down. I missed that a lot yeah. because... Yeah, it's it's hard to time correctly. Yeah, that one gave me a lot of trouble as a kid too. And also the the two blue ones that spawn towards the back, like they slide in and then slide out. Yeah, I didn't know they slid out uh, for a while. Oh. And eventually, when a run was going really well, they I missed one. Right. And then also the uh, there's four there's two pairs that slide across the back and the second pair goes faster mm. and I kept missing one of those two All right and my god the the attempt where I actually finished it I did miss one again but I caught it just as it was leaving <laughs> with a, a great like flick shot with the uh, great n64 control stick <laughs> Well, yeah, it must be awesome if you can do, like, Twitch flick shots like that. <laughs> if I can play Halo uh, with that was... thing. <laughs> Total skill. It was from all those uh, minutes I spent playing Perfect Dark as well oh. on the N64. Oh, man. Several minutes of Perfect Dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. But you beat it? Eventually. Nice. My God, that was painful and fun. <laughs> and fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. All right. Uh, if you miss two, they will give you another go for free. 
Yeah, that was my saving grace. Yeah, I could imagine. Could imagine because I I got saved so many times. You did figure out that it followed the same pattern, right? Oh yeah, that's why I I know it by memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First the green one, then one blue, and then another blue, and then the green one that pops up, and then the two blues, and then two reds and two reds. I didn't take note of the color much. <laughs> well, I uh... <laughs> mostly the uh, the location. Yeah, yeah. No, I I get it. I I guess it's gonna be really interesting uh, how we experience this game differently with uh, regards to color. I know we mentioned that in the first episode, but I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how that uh, evolves. It's It might be interesting, not so because I can't tell the difference between them, but just in general because of the colorblindness, I don't take note of colors as much as an indicator of things. Yeah, which is... I generally look towards other indicators. Yeah, and that is what makes it interesting. You... You took note of the uh, the location. I also know the location by heart because you kind of need to. But yeah. I also took note of the color. Yeah, I, I did not pay much attention to the color other than I no- noted that the two that slid in from the left and right were blue. Yeah. And blue is the color you see the most clearly, right? Yeah. So it makes sense that it was the blue that you you noticed It wasn't I, I don't know if that was so much that I specifically took note of the color. I don't know. I don't know why I, I know that they were blue. <laughs> that stuck in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get you. Alright, so you beat the shooting mini game and you got the upgraded seed bag. Yep. Uh, does very, this mean you now very painfully. <laughs> does this mean you now have fifty seeds or yeah, I, I did uh, go into the Lost Woods and get the upgraded uh, bag as well. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. All right, nice. Um, yeah, go on. What else did you notice in the market? Uh, I headed towards the the strange mask shop. I called it. Yeah. I don't know if it was called something else, but it was closed. Hmm. Then went to a uh, a bazaar, I think it was, mm-hmm. and uh, it was a a very beefy uh, seller. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to the very small guy in uh, Helian Forest. Yeah, uh, Kokiri Forest. The uh, Kokiri Forest. Yeah, Helian Forest. Cool. He's uh, uh, he was selling a ghost spirit. Oh yeah, and Edgar and Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Yeah, no, just a Poe. I don't I wonder why they're called Poe. I don't know. I, I are they all called Poe? Yeah. Huh. All ghosts. I thought that was just maybe the name of whatever that dead spirit was. Right. No, all ghosts uh are called Poe's in at least Ocarina of Time and uh and Majora's Mask. And I suppose also Twilight Princess, now that I think about it. <clears throat> Apparently, someone weird would like it. Hmm. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Put a pin on that, and we'll discuss it later. Yeah, there, there's a reason I made note of that in the notes. Right. Because I figured it would be important later, and I wanted to remember it. Yeah. There was also a pretty Hillian shield for sale. It was uh, 80 rupees. <laughs> and I had, I think, three. Yeah, because you had just spent all of them. Of <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, no shield for me. <laughs> and uh, so I, I left the shop and found an interesting tower thing. Tower? Uh, a cathedral. I'm not sure what to call it. Yeah, cathedral. Other than the... Uh, the Temple of Time. Hmm. I don't know. It didn't seem that important to me, but... The Temple of Time? In Ocarina yeah. of Time? Probably probably just a coinkadink. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it, it probably just named it to sound grand. Yeah. Could have called it the Grand Cathedral, but uh, no. <laughs> That's in Dark oh, Souls 3. Born. 
Was that Dark Souls 3? No, that's Cathedral of the Deep now that I think about it. Does matter. Fucking tangent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a Dark Souls podcast now. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be a great subject. Oh, man, the cuphead of <laughs> the cuphead of podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Should call it a cupcast. <laughs> Well, I do have a cup of coffee. Okay, let's get fucking back on track already. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we need like a third person here just to scream at us when we go on tangents. Oh, man. Yeah, we do. We're f- This episode is already longer than the previous one. God, it is. Yeah, it's an hour already. Holy crap. I was hoping to keep this like under half an hour. It was supposed to be short. Oops. Yeah. Brevity is something Whoops. we need to work on, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's so much to talk about. Oh, there is. There is. I hope... Uh, Even if we didn't go on tangents, it would not be short. No, I don't think so either. But you did a lot of exploring in this one. That's cool. Yeah, well, I, I wanted to check out what was what. Yeah, I get it. Do you find it uh, satisfying to explore? Yeah, I, I love exploring in games. Yeah, awesome. Really happy to hear that. I also love exploring in games. That's that's entirely re- the, the, the reason I haven't beat Breath of the Wild yet. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm I'm too preoccupied. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. But that's another tangent we shouldn't go, go to down. yet. No. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, you went to the Temple of Time. When did you fucking start going to the castle? I guess we should just skip to that. <laughs> well, all right. Well, afterwards, I went towards the castle. Yeah. Because that was the uh, the last place to go. Yeah. And uh, Post Malone was also there. <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was singing at night. She had a beautiful voice. <laughs> she was telling me to sit down and be humble. <laughs> I think that's a Post Malone song. I have no idea. The, uh, I just know it's... Post Malone because his name sounds like Water Malone. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> what am alone <laughs> oh man love it <laughs> tangent tangent, tangent. Shush. <laughs> well i am a mathematician tangents are kind of my specialty <laughs> har, har. <laughs> <laughs> i'm proud of that one <laughs> you shouldn't be <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right <laughs> back on track <laughs> <laughs> oh no i can't stay serious <laughs> okay uh ooh, that really hurt my nose <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Shit. oh my god are we gonna have one of these every time <laughs> i guess so <laughs> why is it a math joke this time God damn it. <laughs> uh, that's a problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 All right. So y- anyhow, <laughs> you found she uh Yeah, she gave me an egg. <laughs> I don't know why. She just had an egg on her. <laughs> She's fucking Danny DeVito from Always Sunny. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? I think she was... Well, yeah. I was going to say she's a little cuter than Danny DeVito, but that's not by much. Have you seen Danny DeVito? Yeah, he is. He's very pretty. (laughs) He's a beautiful man. (laughs) He is. Very. He's a treasure. (laughs) Oh. Man. <laughs> Tangent. Back on track. Back on track. <laughs> <laughs> this is never gonna end. No, it's not. <laughs> the fucking, let's just do the rest of the game right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So she had an egg. Live commentary. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she had an egg. Uh, yeah, the owl also stopped me, it- saying that time will stand still while I'm on the ranch or in a town. Oh, he said that? <clears throat> I think that was the owl. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I know the owl is there, but like I said, I always skip his dialogue. <clears throat> right. Huh. Yeah, I, I 
I would assume that's because of the limitations of the N64. The night and day, the differences between night and day are... Well, they're night and day. <laughs> no, but people will wow. change positions and all that, and so it has to be kind of a new instance. Right. Whereas out in the field or whatever, where, uh, where time doesn't matter, time will move. Right. So, so yeah. I wish I had known about that changing position things earlier. How so? Because it did cause me a little bit of confusion uh, getting into the castle. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. You were probably waiting in Lon Lon Ranch for it to become daylight or something. In Lon Lon Ranch? Yeah, earlier. Oh, no, yeah, no, you weren't there at night. You were there during the day, right? Yeah, when the other uh, guards were standing watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past the other uh, little hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah. But before that, I had to actually get to the castle. Mm. And I uh, had to go get some more rubies to bribe the guard. Mm. I did later figure out that you could climb the vines. Yeah, I was going to ask if you found out. But I didn't at first because I kept falling down, Ye no matter what I tried. Yeah, it's a very, uh, it's a very peculiar spot you have to start climbing on. Yeah. It doesn't look like it was correct. Now, Ocarina of Time does this weird thing where if you're on the very edge of something you can climb on, Link will start climbing, but it will automatically fall down. And it's right. it's uh, it's really weird. Like it it always somehow manages to to take me by surprise. A little bit like, oh yeah, shit, that was a thing. Right. Yeah, that, that confused me quite a bit. Yeah, I can imagine. So I spent probably 30 rupees. 30 rupees. Huh. Because um, I the first time I got caught by guards... <laughs> yeah. Uh, the second time, I... Could, well, the first time I couldn't figure out how to get past the... Uh, no, the second time I couldn't figure out how to get past the guards... Because the first time I got caught, and I thought that meant there should be another route somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I <coughs> tried using the uh, the egg <laughs> to glide across. <laughs> I, I don't remember if that, at that point... No, it hadn't turned into a chicken yet. No. <laughs> tried but using I tried the to egg. use it to make it become a chicken. Right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Because it sounded weird to me that you would be holding the egg and then it would just be... <laughs> <laughs> just leap off holding the egg above me. Yeah. <laughs> when you said you would try using the egg, I thought maybe you tried chucking it at them or something. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Fucking bowling them down. <laughs> Line them up like pins and just bowl them down. But yeah, I, I couldn't figure that out, so I, I left. Because I thought maybe that um, the guy who said how to get into the castle through the little hole on the right, I thought maybe that was actually outside. Because at that point, I wasn't totally clear that the first area was a totally separate area to the actual castle. Uh, the market. Yeah, yeah. I mean... So I, I left to try to check and didn't find anything. Right. Okay. The, uh, the third time I did manage to, to sneak through. I see. But uh, on the uh, the path upwards, there was a little alcove that was covered by a boulder. Mm -hmm. And it said it was a dead end, which had me a little suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine why. <clears throat> Oh yeah, dead end. Huge fucking boulder. <laughs> Did Sadly, I, I could not move it. I, I'm apparently weak. Oh, no. Are you? Too weak to move yeah, a boulder uh, 14 times your own size? <laughs> Oof. Apparently. Man, that's, uh, that's sad. Better hit the gym. <laughs> Yeah, 
But yeah, I, I did eventually make it through. I uh, took some some sneaking around the guards. <laughs> I thought their line of sight would have been a lot longer than it was, but apparently they're just blind. Yeah, they are. Uh, their helmets cover their eyes, I guess. <laughs> I can only see in like a, a five foot radius around them. You can't even see. They have to smell you. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, from there, I made it into the castle, found uh, Talone. <laughs> Post Talone. <laughs> Pre Talone. <laughs> har har. har. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wait. Quality. Go on. Yeah, by that point, the uh, the chicken had hatch hatched from the egg, mm -hmm. and I I pretty quickly figured out that I was supposed to use the chicken to wake him up. Ah, nice. Which made me feel pretty clever. Cool. Cool. I remember. I that was the. Uh, I think I got stuck there for a while, just right. walking back and forth. Anyway, I, I tried to wake him twice, thinking he was like Gulliver from Animal Crossing. All oh, right, yeah. But then after that, I I tried the chicken. Yeah. And the chicken did work. And he he ran very goofily back towards Post Malone. <laughs> yeah, he has a he has a pretty good uh, run cycle. When he freaks out when he knows that her, uh, his daughter is waiting for him. <laughs> So irresponsible. <laughs> Did you get into the castle? And then on, <clears throat> yeah, I figured out the uh, the little block puzzle, which was not very hard. No, it's very very easy. Quite obvious. <laughs> yeah. And uh, from there, I got stuck with the uh, as I mentioned before the guards. Oh. Because I didn't know you had to wait until night for them to leave. Right. I see. So I, I was stuck there <laughs> trying to uh, pretend I was Snake and get under a barrel to sneak past or something. Right, right, right. Wasn't that a thing in Wind Waker as well? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing that gets introduced very early on in Wind Waker, actually. Yeah, in the prison, right? Yeah, the Forsaken Fortress. Yeah. Correct. So I tried <clears throat> pulling that. But no bueno. <laughs> no bongoy. Bongoy. Boingo was what I tried to say. No bongoy. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Bongoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I, uh, I eventually did happen upon them being gone at night. All right. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see what else. Looking through my my notes, right? I don't think it has to be night when you go through there. I I does it not? No, I think you can just go in and out, and they they'll just not be there at times. I'm not really sure what determines that, but I I don't think I've gone through there many times without it being. Without it being daytime. <clears throat> hmm. We'll see. Well, with I, footage. I I did come back at yeah. I did come back at night and they were gone, so that's what I assumed. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Because I did try a couple times during the day, to to no avail. Right. Right. And I, I made it past the other guards who were all not very helpful. <laughs> Not doing much good to guard the castle. <laughs> Did he manage to get through first try? Yeah. Nice. And I also got the uh, the rupees that one was guarding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you kind of needed those, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. I usually always skip those because they're a bit risky. I figured it would be pretty easy considering they're blind. <laughs> but I, I was careful. Blind and deaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I said, they had to smell you, and you were downwind from him the entire time, I guess. <laughs> she carried deodorants around to be invisible. 
Anyhow, I uh, got through that and made it to the uh, the princess. Yeah. And luckily, she was actually there. I didn't find Toad in her stead. <laughs> Maybe you didn't look hard enough. Oh, was Toad there? Well, not Toad, but Mario and the company are. Oh. I'm gonna... Uh, honestly, when I record footage from, uh, for this, uh, I guess I would like to have you uh, as part of this, uh, so that you can yeah, see... Yeah, I was gonna say, I would, would like to watch what you do. Yeah, yeah, sure. We can, we can do that. Sure. All right. So, uh, yeah, you talked to the Princess of Destiny, I suppose. Yeah, I, I struck up a little chat. Yeah. And she seemed kind of freaked out as to why I was there and started asking who I was. And I just stared at her silently with all that wonderful charm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blank ass expression. <laughs> I'm amazed she wasn't more concerned about some blank faced kid staring at her with a sword who just broke into her castle. <laughs> Well, she had a. She really trusts her dreams. Yeah, she had a magical dream about you, so it was meant to be. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> but I, I told her about the uh, the spiritual stone after she. Or after she uh, explained the dream. Mm -hmm. And she told me the little story of the uh, the Triforce and how it will grant a wish. I think it was. Mm. Right. And how the. I guess previously the very innocuous Temple of Time protects it. Oh, who would have thought that the Temple of Time would do, would, would play a major part in this? Yeah, who knew? Who knew? The, Zelda really is all about these plot twists. Yeah. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, continue. Uh, are there going to be a lot of things in the future where I come back to? Uh, or that we come back to? Next, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. Apparently, it needs the uh, other two spiritual stones to to unlock it, mm -hmm. and the uh, the ocarina of time. No, really. Apparently, the ocarina of time is important in ocarina of time. I guess. Wow. It's almost like I wish they would have made that clear. Yeah, it's almost like we've done this joke three times already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, repeating jokes. We're above that. <laughs> In Ocarina of Time? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, go on. Uh, it didn't... Uh, is the fairy ocarina not the Ocarina of Time? Next, please. Oh. Because uh, the ocarina that Saria gave me was... I believe called the Fairy Ocarina. Yeah, it is called the Fairy Ocarina. And that confused me when uh, Zelda said she'd guard the Ocarina of Time. And I was like, well, I already got it. Uh, next, please. Not knowing, <laughs> apparently there are two, possibly, unless it turns into the Ocarina <gasps> of Time. Ooh. Maybe. Next, please. <laughs> do I do I smash it with the spiritual stones or something? <laughs> Am I stumbling upon Next, please. <laughs> right. Uh, and then someone walked in. Some Gerudo guy. Oh. Uh, I don't know. A Gerudo guy? Yeah, apparently. Not, not to assume gender, but I think he's a guy. <laughs> Hmm. I see. Apparently, he goes by the leader of goes by the name of Ganondorf, leader of the Gerudos, mm, king of thieves, or something. Or, yeah, yeah. And it didn't seem that noteworthy to me. No, it's not like you've had nightmares of the guy. No. Yeah, he looked very different. I mean, this time he wasn't riding a horse. Yeah, that's true. The horse does make it. Uh, very uh, iconic. So whenever he's without it, it's yeah. After all, the the horse was in a nightmare. <laughs> Ganondorf uh, with the horse is uh, kind of like uh, Clark Kent with the glasses. Like <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, I uh, seem to be there on on plenty 
uh, plenty of respectable terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did that. Definitely not up to anything shady. Yeah. Seemed like an upstanding fella. Well, he was kneeling, so he wasn't very upstanding, but yeah. Uh, Fair. (laughs) God, is this what our humor is? Uh, I hope you guys like this. I want to say no, but (laughs) apparently it is. I hope you guys like this. (laughs) Holy shit. That's all it's going to (laughs) be. Better keep those low expectations. (laughs) (laughs) We're almost at one and a half hour. Oh, God. All right, keep going. I mean, there's not not much more. But yes, the... uh, after that, she said she was going to protect the ocarina, and I need to go looking for the other two spiritual stones. Yeah. And uh, that's that's where I ended. Uh, should be a few more things than that. <clears throat> if I'm uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's you got her letter. Oh yeah, yeah, I did get her letter. Yeah, and hopefully you tried to leave as well. I did not try to leave. Oh. Really? You you told me to get to the princess, so that's where I left okay. off. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. I didn't want to go past anything and assume. Right. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, I can pause and go can, uh, resume. Uh, that was a confusing sentence. Like, we can pause this and I can go... Continue. Continue this? Continue the uh, the game and try to leave. Huh. Uh, do you have the game paused right now? Are you on the same screen? I mean, no. It's. I would have to open a, the... Or turn on the console and all that. I see. Uh, would that put me outside the castle or something? Uh, I don't know. I really, really hope not. <clears throat> because... There's something extremely important that happens as you're trying to leave the castle. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) So worst case scenario, you might have to go back through everything and then come back out. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know where it's going to start you. Um, Honestly, this is kind of interesting. So and it is kind of important. So might as well do that. All right. All right. So let's pause this for now. We're back again. <laughs> Quick Indeed. little break there. Uh, yeah, tell me what happened. Uh, I tried to leave, and Impa of the uh, the Sheikas was waiting for me. Yeah, Impa, the leader of the Sheikas. Before we get there i think it's interesting to to go through the little journey you had to go through what happened uh it restarted me back in kariko not kariko um kokiri kokiri yeah both key names kokiri (laughs) forest Uh, that's exactly what i feared (laughs) (laughs) which meant i had to get all the way back yeah but that did allow me uh an opportunity to snap a screenshot of the uh the scene i i mentioned yeah yeah not an actual screenshot it was a a boomer screenshot (laughs) a picture of a screen (laughs) yeah (laughs) right not that you can really capture the screen on n64 without other stuff but yeah 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 Uh, i hear you so uh you had to trek back uh kind of a bad place to stop (laughs) I, i yeah i mean you that is where you told me to leave, so... Yeah, but... Uh, okay, fr- from now on, I will say that when I tell you to stop after a certain point, uh, usually that means leaving the area as well. Right. I-, I will pretty much always include you leaving the area, so don't worry about that. Uh, it's if I s- difficult to assume, especially yeah. since you can't give much details away either. Yeah, no, that's, f- that's fair. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I will, I will tell you, uh, you will feel when it's, uh, it's a good stopping place, I'd say. Right. And, uh, 
Yeah, uh, a good stopping place is usually when you're back out in Hyrule Field or something, unless I tell you otherwise. Right. Right. So, or when you have free control, again. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, and after you finish something, you're free to still explore and and do stuff. Uh, just don't continue with the main story or whatever. Right. So, so yeah. Like if if you were you're like, "Oh, you should come back to me after you beat this thing." And then you beat the thing and I said you should stop after that. You can still go and talk to the guy. We'll just add that to the end of the episode or or something like that. Mm. Uh cuz it's kind of difficult to be like, "Oh yeah, remember to stop by me." And then you stop and you come back another day you might have forgotten about him altogether right if there are if there are things like that so uh so yeah uh don't 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 worry about that sort of thing in any case you had to make it back to the castle where you met impa leader of the sheikah indeed the name is oddly familiar somehow ha hmm Impa, I... Zelda, Link, Ganon, <laughs> Kakariko, or Kakariko. Hmm. Temple of the, Time. The symbol on the the rocks with jiggle physics. Is that <laughs> yeah. not the uh, the Shika logo? Yes. That uh, know, stone yeah. with jiggle physics is called a Shika stone. Right. Hmm. So interesting. I know I mentioned at some point when we were recording the uh, the last footage, I think. Yeah. That the uh, the rocks were Sheikah slates. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. From Breath of the Wild. Yeah, they are Sheikah Sheikah stones. So so it's interesting. Right. All right. So what case, did? Yeah. Hmm? Go on. She was waiting for me. <laughs> She's been waiting there for a while, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just up and left <laughs> later just in, fr- in front of her eyes you just fucking vanish just fucking <laughs> poof I mean she did that to me after after all the dialogue that's fair that's fair she it's must just... have thought you were an amazing ninja <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost wrote in my notes that she ninjaed away <laughs> yeah yeah I she figured that was noteworthy enough um but yeah, what what did she tell you? Uh, she she said she said uh, everything is exactly as the princess foretold. Mm. Okay. And she taught me a melody. Mm. Uh, passed down by the royal family. Passed down by the royal family. Apparently, the notes have a mysterious power. Ooh. It's uh so you've learned the first song of the game, Zelda's Lullaby. Yes. Which is also the theme that you hear in that little courtyard. Hmm. Uh yeah, she taught me a lullaby and Link had a, a very funny expression on his face as well. <laughs> yeah, where he like, oh, what the fuck? He <laughs> looks at the ocarina, goes yeah. well, like, what, this thing makes sound? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I specifically took a screenshot of it, even. <laughs> a boomer screenshot. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Then we, uh, we headed back out to Hyrule Field, and she showed me Death Mountain. Ooh. Sounds Not a fun. foreboding name at all. Mm. Sounds like nice. a Disney park ride. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Splash Mountain right next to <laughs> Death Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Seatbelts optional on Death Mountain. <laughs> Apparently it's the uh, the home of the uh, Gorons. Mm. Gorons being uh, another recurring race in the... Uh, in the Zelda universe. Yep. And that is apparently where the, the fire stone is. The spiritual stone of fire. Yeah. And that's where you have to go next. Mm-hmm. 
So, uh, yeah. Now you've stopped where I wanted you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, really? Like, for the most part, unless I make it explicit, uh, you can always go uh, go around until you feel you've, fi you've finished an area. You don't have to stop exactly where I where I tell you. Right. But, uh, yeah, Death Mountain. I'm going to say that the next time you stop should be after you get the spiritual stone of fire. Right. Uh, I would also recommend, and you should probably write this down as well, I would also recommend that after you beat... Uh, after you get the spiritual stone of fire, uh, you should try climbing to the very top. Ooh. Will do. So, so uh, yeah. Give that a shot. Is that uh, the, uh, the start of the ride? <laughs> that's the start of the ride. Go up to the start <laughs> of the ride. Uh, I'm going to guess that you are going to thank me later for that. Mm. But, I mean, we'll see. Uh... So, so far, uh, fucking one hour and a half, uh, and a little break in between. <laughs> <laughs> I like so, how we said uh, this episode would be shorter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oops. next time we'll, I, I, I like that you're taking a lot of notes and there we're generating a lot of good discussion, but I'm also wondering if, uh, maybe we can, uh, shorten some of these things down a bit. Like uh, I take the notes a lot for me to remember. Yeah, yeah. No, I completely get that. I completely get that. So and we're, mostly we're, it was just making talking points of them as we uh, we continue. As we go, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so far, what what do you think? Uh, I'm impressed so far. Yeah, you are. Especially the uh, the wow moment thing. Yeah, that's so cool. That is, I'm I'm so glad you had one of those. That's that's actually kind of amazing to me. So uh, hopefully you can uh, throw in a uh, screenshot of the uh, area. Yeah, we'll 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 see. Uh, you sent me the boomer screenshot. I'm, I can probably recreate it in video. Yeah, that was that was to show you where it was exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I'll just recreate it with video then. <laughs> yep. But yeah, um, honestly, uh, I'm so glad you're enjoying this. Um, I was worried that since it took you a while to get going, uh, I, I was worried that uh, Animal Crossing might have become a little bit uh, <laughs> too, uh, too much of an opportunity cost, as it were. Right. But uh, in any case, I'm very glad to hear that you're enjoying it as much as you are. That, that yeah, does bring a smile to my face. It's fun. Especially so. playing on a, a console I haven't really experienced before either. Oh, yeah. Oh, that controller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that controller. glad I chose to play on the N64. Yeah. That, I'm, and... I'm also very glad you chose to play on the N64. I'm, and uh... the controller was a mistake. <laughs> yeah uh it's oddly nostalgic for me but uh yeah that controller it it, it has a first try yeah or first i will three. say it has some charm oh yeah dude it's so fucking weird and special it has a lot of charm <laughs> has a, it's has... hard to get past how mistake how much of a mistake it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah it has its flaws it definitely does uh all right uh i'm realizing we need to find a way to sign off on these episodes because uh we found a way to start them pretty well i think uh <laughs> ending them yeah, how do we end them how do we end them to be fair these things barely have an end they just keep going yeah, they do. It's like whenever I try ending a stream. <laughs> <laughs> that means another hour. Yeah. Oh, shit. No. Please. <laughs> um, yeah. No, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to say uh, if you manage to stick through all of this, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. 
it's been it's been a lot of fun uh we get we get so passionate talking about stuff like this it's uh it's hard not to go on tangents and it's hard not to you know talk your ear off <laughs> i mean gaming is how we met so yeah yeah it is and it's it's certainly uh, a, a core subject for us yeah and it's also uh there's something magical about that first playthrough that blind first playthrough of something you grew up with as a child like right now what makes this so wonderful for me is that i i can kind of relive my first time with a game going through you right and doing like this deep dive into a game and the, the source material and all that it really allows me to to uh listen to what you have to say and think about things in, mm. in a way i haven't thought about before so and it it makes me it makes me consider and think about that whole language of games and 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 that sort of thing so maybe that's a thing that will will make something out of yeah I don't that know. would be fun yeah i think so too well in any case uh yeah i uh i think it's uh time for us to uh to sign off um oh, you so are soon? you are currently uh not having second thoughts about playing ocarina of time you want to keep going yeah it's fun all right great because that is a thing that you are always allowed to you, uh, if at any point you're like ah this is kind of becoming boring you don't have to push yourself in any of these episodes to to finish them it's uh only keep going as long as you are intrigued or interested given that it's broken up as it is yeah uh that makes it a lot easier to continue because i'm very apt to play something for hours get bored and then not pick it up again that's that's interesting that's actually very interesting and also having this as a reason to play it aside from the game itself gives me motivation to come back to it. I see. All right. That that sounds wonderful. Um, okay. So you know where the uh, where you have to end off next time. Yep. So, so uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, we are going to try to make at least one episode a week, but... We could also, if Tay is feeling up for it, we could do, we could do an episode uh, extra or some something like that. Like I, I feel like these are very long, and we spend a lot of time not really getting to the point. This was supposed yeah. to be the short episode, after all. Fifty <laughs> percent longer. Yeah, more than that. Now. More. Yeah, more than. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, oops. So yeah, since this was supposed to be the the shorter episode, uh, I, I think it would be nice if we do two episodes a day, oh, a week, a week, a week, a day. Oh my no, god! No, 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 a week. There's not enough time in the day for that. No, there's not. <laughs> there really, really isn't. <laughs> but yeah, something like that. Two episodes a week, one episode a week. Uh, it's not exactly the strictest schedule. No, it's not. But let us know what you guys think about that. And uh, I'm really interesting, interested in hearing about you guys' wow moments. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very curious as well. So, uh, yeah. All right. I think uh, that's it for now. We're uh, probably signing off. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, uh, I'm signing off <laughs> at the very least. Oh, it I'll continue going for another hour then. Yeah, you can. you can just continue uh keep them uh <laughs> <laughs> keep them entertained right all right and with that goodbye thank you guys so much for watching uh or listening or whatever the fuck you decide to do with this <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't know smell yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> tangents I hope it's again not stinky <laughs> tangents oh yeah oh. let's end it yeah let's end it <laughs> thank you everyone for watching yeah, this or has listening. been wonderful. Damn it. <laughs> or smelling. <laughs> <laughs> Tasting? Goodbye. Goodbye. Hollowed out. <laughs>